What's good, everybody? Yo, this is God, Lord Supreme, wise mind the law. From Born Part Truth, See Truth. As you know, I'm in my kingdom representing the Godhood to the fullest. So what I wanted to do today was I wanted to go through the God degree in the 140. And what I want to do is I want to use what they call the theory of correlation. In other words, I'm going to relate different degrees all together and bring bring forth full circle the point in which I'm conveying. Alright? So just follow me on this journey of knowledge and understanding. Now, the God degree in the 140 says, how fast does our planet travel? And the answer is 1037 and one third miles per hour. Right? Now, my thing is this. That degree is really mathematical, but also when you're fully rounded in your lessons, you can break things down accordingly, right? So the way I'm gonna do it, like I told you before, I'm gonna use the theory of correlation, and I am going to correlate different degrees together to bring forth full circle the point in which I'm conveying, all right? Might have said that twice, but whatever. <laughs> Okay. The tenth degree in the lost found Muslim lesson number two. The question is asked, who is that mystery God? The answer, there is no mystery God. The Son of Man has searched for that mystery God for trillions of years and has been unable to find that mystery God. So they agree that the only God is the Son of Man and they will lose no time searching for that which does not exist. All right, now that's the first degree that I'm gonna break down, right? Now, the next degree I'm going into is the understanding God degree or the 37th degree in the 140. And it says, tell us why the devil teach the 85% that God is a righteous and unseen being exists everywhere. Answer, the law of God a law is God in the heavens and in the earth below. And it's just and true. And there is no unrighteousness in him. For he is not unseen. He is seen and heard everywhere. For he is the all I seen. Right? Now, the following degree, which you come up on the one third, I'm going to break that down to the knowledge understanding degree and the one of 40 once again. And it says, or it asks, but brings rain, hell, snow, earthquakes. And it says, they continue daily to teach the 85% that all you see, such as rain, hell, snow, and earthquakes, comes from that mystery God that no one will be able to see until they die. And this is believed by the 85%. The 10% know that when a man dies, he will never come back to tell the living whether he lies or not, because the dead is never known to return from the grave. All the history of Islam never revealed anybody coming back from a physical death. But there is a chance from a mental death because the lost found was once dead mentally and many were revived from it. But they were not physically dead, only mentally dead. All right. Now, what do all of these degrees have in common with God? Today's math. Okay. First off, what I want to say is this. When you're dealing with the science of God, there's a lot of people, especially the 85% that believe, quote unquote, that God is some superior being sitting up in the sky, giving them blessings and bestowing wisdom upon them. When in reality, God is the physical existence of the intangible intelligence manifested in the form of the black man. Okay? Now, let me give you a brief history about myself. Now, before I was really reluctant to build on the science of God because I wasn't fully rooted or well-rounded in the science of understanding God. You know what I'm saying? So, my thing was is that I always questioned the science of well, what is God until I really started doing my study and my research on my own and understanding that God is a supreme being. Supreme means the most high, highest degree, authority or ranking, and the ultimate reality 
And being is the form of existence, mentally as well as physically. So I was looking at it like, okay, if God is the intangible intelligence, how would he and who would he perform his works through? How would he perform his works and who would he perform his works through? Right? He will only perform his works through the most conductive conduit possible, which would be the supreme being black man or the original man. Why? Because the physical general makeup of the original man, his physique, is highly melanated or, or used as through carbon. You know, carbon is you know, the sixth element of the periodic table. You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyways, dealing with the science of God, you have to understand of who and what is God. Most of the time when you're dealing with 85%, they won't be able to answer that question. They will only answer it in a religious form or a robotic form. In other words, they're gonna give you the same answer that they would talk. They haven't really researched, studied, learned, or understood the whole science of God. So back to what I was saying in regards to the lessons. What do all those degrees have in common? Okay. When you look at the knowledge of the degree in the one of 40, it says who is that mystery God? When you look at the understanding God degree in the one of 40, says that he is not unseen he is seen and heard everywhere for he's all I see now when you look at the knowledge understanding degree in the 1 of 40 it talks about all these situations and circumstances are caused by a supreme unseen being that exists everywhere which is that mystery God pardon me I was running across the street <laughs> Um, so, the, the science of God is, for years, months, and days, the devil has been implanting this so-called mystery God in the mind states of the 85% to get them to believe that every single problem and situation that they're dealing with in life is not because of them. It's because of an outside force, i.e., the devil. Or that God works in mysterious ways. Well, in reality, there is no mystery to God. The only mystery is the missing story. Now, that is the link that binds between knowing and believing. Now, like I said, when you look at 1037, that right there, within itself, is all being born of wisdom. Right? Now, you take the knowledge and understanding, it is all being born of culture. You take two and four, pardon me, knowledge and understanding, and that's all being born. Two and four bring you six, the equality degree. And the one of 14 says, why does the devil teach and keep our people illiterate? Answer, so that he may use them for a tool in the slaves. He keeps them blind to themselves so they don't have to. And that's what it means there. So obviously, this is one of the reasons why he loves the devil. Because the devil already taught him how to be what? Illiterate and ignorant. So he's going to love the devil regardless because he already fell victim to the devil's civilization. He fell from grace of no one understanding who little God is the original man so now when you're dealing with the planet you're dealing with a plane of truth a level or surface of reality and the reality is or what's real is that the fact of the matter that the black man is God by nature this is in his DNA this is in his biological makeup his physical composition everything about him says supreme beingness However, since we have fell from understanding our true divinity of self, of who we are as men and women, we fell victim to the devil's civilization throughout years, months, and days because they made us think that the devil never existed. And that God is a righteous and unseen being. 
that exist everywhere. So overall, what am I saying? I'm saying this. When you add knowledge to your cipher, it puts you in a better off position than a person that has a belief system. You have a system of knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Or epistemology, if I'm correct. It says um, the study of the branch or study of knowledge, right? So basically, what you have to do is you have to be able to research and examine, cross reference, and show and prove that what you know in your cipher to let you know that everything is real. Understanding God means you see God in the form of the black man. Why? Because of the mere fact that this is the only, one and only supreme being or human being. Now, if you want to break down human, human means color, man is who? Mind. Mind is intelligence. Mind is intelligence. Intelligence is what? The faculty of thought, reasoning, and logical thinking that brings forth the intangible intelligence through what? Activation and energy. So, my thing is, is this. When you're studying on the science of God and understanding God, you have to fully understand it in its totality, right? Because, think about it, right? You got knowledge of cipher, you got understanding God. If you acknowledge your cipher, then you will be able to understand who God is. And this will be able to help you bring forth what? Knowledge and understanding. Because you know clearly who and what is God. Because you are no longer illiterate or ignorant. You are literate with knowledge. Because you have fulfilled your request of wanting to know who and what is God. A person that's illiterate and ignorant has no idea or has an idea but does not want to recognize or acknowledge the idea of what is being placed in front of them. For instance, right? If you know and understand that it's going to rain today and you come outside in a t-shirt, shorts, and flip-flops and it's drizzling rain wouldn't you think that would be something ignorant because you already know what the weather's gonna be like it's the same thing it's the same principle and dynamic because why because you understand and you know because being ignorant is ignoring all the facts that's in front of you to satisfy your inquiry of what you want. You feel me? So, I just wanted to break that down to the way I see it. To the fullest extent of how I see that degree today. The God degree in the 140. You know? Uh, any questions or concerns, please comment below. If you didn't understand what I'm saying, Please comment below. Like I said, I use the theory of correlation or the science of correlation, I should say, because it helps people bring full circle how these degrees precede each other or complement one another. Because at the end of the day, it's teaching you all about yourself, how all things relate to you. That's all that I have to say, man. Y'all have a blessed day and enjoy. Peace.